The Ark of the Covenant is one of history's most sought after objects. It's said to hold the Ten Commandments that God inscribed in stone and handed down to Moses on Mount Sinai. According to scripture, Disrespecting the Ark can bring deadly consequences. Once housed and venerated at King Solomon's temple in Jerusalem, it vanished around the time the Babylonians invaded the temple toward the end of the 6th century BC. That's when priests and disciples presumably carried it out of Israel in search of a new holy resting place. Well, Murray, I'm searching for the Ark of the Covenant, and I just came here from the United States. So some people believe that the Ark of the Covenant was, was here at one time? Uh, they do, yes. Some people believe that the Ark of the Covenant was buried on the Hill of Tara. Um, this site is a very ancient ritual and royal site. Its oldest monument dates back to 3500 uh, BC, the seat of the High Kings of Ireland. Some people believed that uh, the King of Tara was also the King of the world. Has any archaeology been done here? Well, in 1899, a group came here to dig for the Ark of the Covenant. They believed that Tara was the resuscitated Jerusalem, and they believed if they recovered the Ark of the Covenant, it would prove their theories. They thought that an Egyptian princess came over in the 6th century BC and brought the Ark of the Covenant with her. They did not find uh, the Ark of the Covenant. Nobody knows where that is. And what do you think? What do I think? Um, I have uh, read and researched um, so many stories about the Ark of the Covenant. It's very difficult to unravel fact from fiction. Well, the Ark of the Covenant was not found here. So maybe it could have come to America. Um, I have come across stories which talk about pilgrims bringing various artifacts to the New World without okay. mentioning what they were. And that's where I'm going next. Maybe I can find some evidence there that will help us figure out once and for all if the Ark of the Covenant made it to America or not. After the Ark vanished from records in the 6th century BC, Many people wonder if an ancient group of Hebrew people called the Lost Tribes of Israel found it and then brought it to America as the centerpiece for a new Jerusalem. Hey, Hugh. Hey, Scott, can see you. Good to see you. What brings you to Coshocton? Well, I'm investigating the possibility that the Ark of the Covenant may have come to North America. I was recently in Virginia where I talked to a man, Jack Andrews, who thinks the Stone of Destiny is on his property. He thinks it came from Israel uh, along with the Ark of the Covenant. One thing I can say for certain is that the geology of that stone does not match the local geology. And I'm pretty sure that there's a stone here that has a Hebrew connection, and I'm wondering if there might be some evidence that connects it with the Ark of the Covenant. And I know you know something about that stone. I've been a number of years uh, studying some artifacts I call archaeological outliers, and one of the most interesting is the, what's called the Newark Decalogue Stone. Mm -hmm. It was found uh, in 1860 near here in uh, south of Newark, Ohio. Well, the um, inscription on it is in Hebrew language. It has the abridged text from the Exodus version of the Ten Commandments. Well, there you go. The Ark of the Covenant is rumored to contain the two tablets with the Ten Commandments on them. My understanding is these uh, pretty controversial artifacts here. Yeah, there's a lot of controversy surrounding them, but uh, we could take a look at them and uh, see what we think. Let's do it. This is the Decalogue stone with the Ten Commandments written on it on all sides of it. And this is a stone box that the Decalogue was found in. Okay. So when it was found, it was enclosed in this box and you couldn't even see the stone mm. inside. The box is carved out inside exactly to fit the Decalogue stone. Well, who's that guy? Well, this figure here on the front that's wearing a robe and a turban and holding either tablets or a breastplate. And over his head, in these Hebrew letters, it says Moshe or Moses. Oh. So that must be Moses. OK, that's Moses, all who right. Who delivered the Ten Commandments. Ten uh, Commandments, so OK, well, we're, we're on the right path here. 
There's an open uh, slot here. Um, what was that used for? One suggestion that's been made is that that was to attach a leather strap for this to be used as an arm phylactery. So observant Jews uh, say prayers every day with a box containing scriptures bound to their arm with a leather strap. So if they could have brought this over here with the Ten Commandments on this stone, mm -hmm. they could theoretically have brought the actual ark. I'm headed west to check out the final piece in my quest for the ark, a mysterious stone carving in Arizona's petrified forest. The lead might be a long shot, but I can't ignore anything that could possibly turn up one of the Bible's most iconic relics. So, Jim, you found these petroglyphs when you were on vacation, is that right? Yes, my wife and I came out here a few years ago and see the petroglyphs and the ruins. Okay. But this uh, petroglyph was nothing like I'd ever seen before. So, <laughs> what did you think it looked like? Well, it looks like a lot like the Ark of the Covenant. It matches the descriptions, but what's it doing here in the Arizona desert? And that's why I called you. I'd like to get some answers to find out what, why it's here. From your pictures that you sent, it does look like the Ark, and I've been tracking the Ark for a while now. If we could find it, it would be amazing, but I'm really anxious to see your carving. So what do you make of that? <laughs> that looks very interesting. I mean, the carving has a, a man here with a hat. Looks like he's got his arm touching this rectangular box that looks a lot like the Ark of the Covenant. Let me show you a couple of pictures of the Ark here. Well, here are your two squares and the rectangle. You have your two what look like angels. So how old do you think it is? Well, you know, we're in a desert environment here, so petroglyphs in, in such an arid climate like this, very little rainfall. So things that look relatively new are actually hundreds of years old, which is what I think is the case here. So who do you think may have carved it? Well, I think by association with all the Native American petroglyphs, I mean, right next to it, literally, probably Native American, probably the Pueblo, whose ruins are, you know, just a few yards away. So to me, that makes the most sense. And if they did this, and it is the Ark, then they had to have seen it. So that means somebody had to come through here. Maybe the Native Americans saw the Ark of the Covenant, and they carved this. And this is their closest rendition to it, which is pretty close. And to me, that makes the most sense. I've done a lot of research on petroglyphs and native carvings throughout the Southwest, and this is nothing like I've ever seen before. This does not match anything that's ever been found. I think it is a carving of the Ark of the Covenant. Well, I have to agree with you. And if you look around here, you'll see depictions of animals, humans, and hunting, and it's just more natural scenes and, and life within the native community. And this just doesn't fit that motif at all. This trail that I've been investigating on the Ark of the Covenant has basically moved from east to west. It started in Israel. I think the trail comes here to Arizona. You know what, Jim, as I look around here, the geology really doesn't lend itself to a good hiding place. Where do you think they might have taken the Ark? I think it could be one of the caves in the Grand Canyon. Local natives have many stories and legends about ancient people coming to the Grand Canyon. Maybe they brought the Ark, who knows? Makes sense. I mean, the geology in the Grand Canyon lends itself to caves. We know there's many caves there. Uh, it's almost impossible to get to, and if they did come there, maybe that would be a good place to hide it. Jim, who's to say that the Ark of the Covenant does or doesn't exist? And if it does exist, who's to say that it isn't right here in the United States?